there are two types of accounts in ethereum first one is the external account and second one is the contract account external accounts are owned by users like you and me and external accounts have the private keys associated with them we use these private keys to control these accounts to send the ethers to other accounts on the other hand contract accounts are derived from your external account so for example when i deployed this contract ethereum virtual machine has the logic at the backend which takes your public address from the account from which you are uh, deploying this contract plus the latest transaction number so it combines both the account address from which you are deploying plus the latest transaction number to derive the contact address both the accounts are treated equally by ethereum virtual machine so for example both the accounts can be used to send and receive ethers so let me show you the address of the external account that i used to deploy the smart contract so this is my external account and this is the contract account that was derived from this address plus the transaction count and you can see both the accounts look exactly same it has the same length and everything is same and if i deploy this contract again you will see it will create a new contract account which is completely different from this one and the reason like i mentioned it is combining the account address plus the latest transaction count number so for example when we deployed this contract maybe the transaction count was 50 so when we generate the new transaction your transaction will be incremented to 51 and because of that increment now the combination is changed and it will give the completely different account number so let me deploy and show you and as you can see now this new contact address is ending with f3 and the previous one was ending with bd i hope you are clear with how the ethereum accounts work and what is the external account and what is the contact account and what is the difference between both of them